Yo, yo, welcome to Conversations. I'm your host, Devin Boyd, a.k.a. Lyrical Instrumentalist, and welcome to 2020. (laughs) I just want to give a little small disclaimer before I go into my particular topic that I do apologize that I haven't really posted in a very long time. Um, Like I said, 2019 has been like very busy for me. There's been, like I said, a lot of ups and downs, uh, but like I said, a lot of good positive things and things to kind of set... what am I trying to say? The bar? I don't know. Set the standard. I don't know. But, you know, set some things in motion for 2020 on how I want to do some things. Uh, people always ask about a New Year's resolution and all that stuff. I'm not going to really go through that. It, in the end of it, it doesn't really matter if I tell you or not. But I do want to have some, you know, different changes um, in regards to this podcast. Of course, my career as well. But um, regarding this podcast and conversations, um, like I might not have as long as episodes. Previous episodes have been always about like an hour long. Um, so they might have shorter episodes like this one might be, you know, 15 to 20 minutes long um, as well as going forward. I may not always have guests. It might just be me, you know, talking like I am now, um, you know, and posting the episodes and possibly getting feedback and, you know, may continue that episode on, a, on a, another episode. <laughs> but I might have, you know, a continuation of that episode, you know, depending on the topic, if somebody else wants to kind of chime in and join with me to, you know, um, speak further on whatever the topic was. Um, But like I said, um, 2019 had a lot of ups and downs, um, you know, but I had a lot of things that made me kind of want to reflect on uh, myself, really, and reflect on life. Um, So, like, one thing we need to start doing in 2020, I guess, you know, since that's what year we're in, but we need to start celebrating and enjoying life, celebrate and live life, Um, because life is too short. You know, everybody sounds cliche, but life is too short. Um, So, like, going forward, we need to not let people, um, what's the best way I can put this? Um, Yeah, I know it's not sent to. So, don't let anybody shit on your dreams or dictate how you should live your life. Um, You know, because, again, like I said, life is too short. So, it's like, you can try. You can't please everybody. It's impossible. There's always going to be somebody that doesn't like what you do or the way you do it or whatever the case is. But we have to basically have to get past a lot of that um whether it's friends or family members some people just might have to um unfortunately kind of get cut off um and it's nothing against them but you know if you're one of those people like you know if i got a dream and a goal and uh, something that i'm trying to pursue and you know that i'm very passionate about whatever this is or these life changes and it's not something that you're on the same path with that's perfectly fine But at the same time, you know, don't try to shit on that that movement because it's not something that you prefer. You know what I mean? Because, again, like there's always going to be something that someone doesn't like. Um, So, like, why do I need to stop doing what I'm doing? Because you don't like it and you're not at one with it. Um, That's not really my problem. That's that's your problem. Um, And like I said, if something makes me happy, I I think I said this on the previous episode as well. But it's like, what kind of person does that make you if you want to shit on somebody else's happiness? So, but instead of you, the individual that's shitting on somebody else's happiness, shitting on their happiness, um, just wipe your ass and, you know, put that in the toilet and flush it and let that shit go because, you know, don't, don't put it over here by me. Um, you just need to start reflecting on your own life. And maybe if you're too busy focusing on somebody else's business and shitting on their dreams, then you have to reflect on yourself. What do you have got, what do you got going on for yourself to be all up in somebody else's business, focus on what they're doing. You know what I mean? So, like, we got to live life. Um, Again, life is too short. Um, We got to start doing some better things and, you know, just trying to live. Because when you're sitting here trying to appease somebody all the time and then, you know, unfortunately, if that person passes away, then it's like, damn, like, I'm sitting here trying to make this person happy without, you know, I'm sacrificing my happiness to make this person happy. Then they go away. Now I just lost some years of my own happiness because I try to please this person who who is hard to please and didn't want to change anyways you know what I mean it's like don't we gotta stop wasting our time and energy on people who don't want the better for you you know and that's just real life and it's not me trying to be an asshole or whatever but you know what I mean like it gets tired and exhausting trying to please people who who are just that it's, it gets tired and exhausting you know trying to go out of your own element to make somebody happy and win no matter what, in the end, they're still going to not like what you're doing or, you know, it's too much. 
you got to be selfish sometimes and do what what's good for you but at the same time um i was gonna say this i I don't like when people say um uh, i'm sorry i'm going off topic i have a list in my hand and i'm trying to do too many things at the same time but like i said we can't let people dictate um you know and and ruin your happiness and dictate how you're going to live your life um and i know people always like to say um what am i trying to say basically (laughs) sorry Uh, i'm not a big believer in when people say um you should just be happy that you woke up or you should be happy that this or you know basically like you should be happy that you know for the things that you settled for because you know you ask somebody it's like well how are you doing well i woke up to see another day that don't mean shit to me uh because you can wake up and be in pain all the time that doesn't mean well at least i woke up no fuck that like if you're in pain like what we need to do to get you know out you out of that pain like that's why i'm asking how are you doing oh you're not feeling well what we need to do to work together to make you feel better so we can all be happy together kind of thing you know what i mean like and i'm not down for settling you know for for that kind of shit no more people like well you know i hate my job well you should be happy you got a job no fuck that no because if you're working at a shitty job that makes you unhappy you shouldn't settle for just the fact that you simply have a job now i know sometimes like we can't just exit ourselves out of that job just yet because we got to still you know handle our business but don't tell somebody that they should be happy they have a job because there's some people who don't fuck that no some people who don't have it don't want one and aren't you know trying to make that initiative to get a job and then some people are trying to make that initiative to get a job but like say we're i'm not we're not in this settling shit like just because you have doesn't mean it's okay you know well at least you you are dating no fuck that like no if you're not happy in your situation like don't settle try to look for better try to improve so you know when people people are telling you that they don't like a particular thing don't don't try to get them to settle for just because they have it no it's not okay (laughs) but at the same time like you know we as people we shouldn't just complain about our situation if we're not trying to improve on that situation and like (laughs) and i hate when people say like well you know i can't complain the fuck yes you can you can complain you have a voice you have the right to complain if you don't like your situation you can complain about it but i feel like when you complain you need to be also thinking of how you can you know make your situation better because to me complaining is also venting and we have to vent in order to really live and feel better because i was kind of person i'll hold some shit inside forever and just eats away at your soul and your spirit and that takes a toll on you but like you know it's it's okay to complain people's like well you know somebody got it worse than you fuck them i don't care and i'm i'm kind of being a little facetious or whatever but like i don't care that somebody else has it worse than me because i'm not talking about them you ask me how am i doing and i'm saying this is my situation and somebody else got it worse that's not my problem you know and to me somebody always can have it worse and worse to me is actually an opinion you know what i mean like somebody's like you know my foot hurts well at least you know somebody got it worse they may not even have a foot well you're you're trying to tell that person that they have it worse than me you know they may not have a foot but are they in pain without that foot you know what i mean that might be a bad example so you know forgive me for anybody that's getting offended that that has lost their foot or whatever but i'm just saying like you know people always try to you know one up your pain you know or whatever your situation is but you are also you know giving your opinion on how you think these people feel being in their situation like i've met w and double is it w amputees who like are more happy and chilling and like active and doing more shit than i am you know what i mean like so it's like i can't say like well my leg hurts well you got some people out who's worse than you no they're not worse than me because they are you know and they are at one with who they are and they're enjoying their lives more than you know probably that i am so like you know again like that's not again that, that's like again settling for you know we're not we're not doing it settling shit in 2020 um and right recently i've been on like said a fuck it mentality i know i kind of said we need to celebrate life and you probably took that as like to be more positive yes but to get to that positivity level you could probably got to be on a fuck it mentality too in the sense of like again like everything i pretty much said up to this point you got people who's trying to shit on your dreams and shit on what you're trying to do and your life and your relationships and how you're doing your career and all this kind of stuff basically trying to impede on the things that make you happy in life um so i'm on this fucking mentality like if you know this is my passion this goal this is my stride this direction i'm going you don't have to like what i'm doing you don't have to necessarily support what i'm doing but just be respectful of what you know i'm doing and i when i'm saying i am i'm really speaking for just 
everyone but you know be respectful of what people are doing you again like you don't have to be um again you don't have to agree or whatever but just be respectful because at the end of the day i'm about to do this shit over here and if you're trying to stop me from doing it then you're gonna be over there and that's just the reality of it and quit trying to change people and make people be the way that you want them to be let them be who they are and if you don't like who they are you can step away you got the ability to not have to communicate with people or whatever the case is like we're human beings like you have the, the the will, you have that action and energy. You don't have to deal with anybody. Real talk, you don't have to deal with anybody. Whether whatever kind of relationship that person is to you, friend, family member, coworker. Like I work with some people that I don't want to deal with, so I don't. <laughs> people can call me rude at work. Cool. You can call me rude, but guess what? I'm happy because I don't have to deal with you. But <laughs> I said all that to say, but real talk, like, so we all need to really just start living life um, and start enjoying life. And let's all start working together to help other people enjoy life. Like, if you're in a position where you know you can help somebody, let's help them. Like, me personally, that makes me feel better when I help somebody and I see that smile on their face for something that I did and was able to help them with. Um, so, like, 2020, y'all, whatever your New Year's resolution is, cool. But let's also try to be on a, a path where we're trying to, you know, reach for our happiness and, you know, try to carry some other people with that happiness as well. To me, that's one of the things that will make this world a better place. It's just everybody having a, a respect for each other and just trying to bring up and uplift people. Um, and again, I keep saying this, life is too short. Like, yo, we got to start celebrating life. Let's not start celebrating people after they pass away and reflecting on all the stuff they did. What about this stuff they're doing as they're living? Let's give them, you know, some praise and credibility for that stuff and recognition for what they're doing while they're alive. And then when they pass away, you can be like, yo, like I've been saying when they were alive, this, this, boom, 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 whatever. And then like, you know, let's support each other while we're here. I don't, you know, don't try to start donating to the families and all that stuff after they pass away. If you're in a position where you can donate to the families and help the family and you know that they aren't in a great situation, do that now. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, you know, let's start trying to reciprocate that energy across the world and help people as you can and not after a particular situation and, you know, tragedy or whatever sets in. Like, we got to start doing better as a people. And like, again, let's start celebrating life. Let's live life. Let's be happy. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of misery in the world. There's a lot of bullshit in the news all the time about this happening here and here. But like, yo, we got to start just trying to, you know, be happy. You know, when people are happy, it sends out like positive energy. And then that just kind of like floats with other people. And yeah, it just kind of builds everybody. But when everybody's in the funk, it just, you know, also connects and brings everybody else down. So pretty much all that to say, yo, 2020, let's do some things. Let's all work together. And uh, like I said, be on the lookout for some really dope ass deep topics um, from conversations. Again, I'm Devin Boyd, a.k.a. Lyrical Instrumentalist. Peace.